Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I am an oxygen specialist here at American Medical Sales and Rentals, the oxygen concentrator store. Uh, today we're doing the second video in a three-part series about Medicare. And today's video is going to talk about um, what to do if you'd like to change your Medicare provider. So first off, I just want to do a really quick recap of what we've talked about previously. In our first video, we did a basic coverage of what Medicare is and what it covers with oxygen therapy. So let's talk through just a couple of bullet points from our last video. Um, the first is, if you have Medicare as your insurance um, carrier, then your oxygen therapy solutions are always covered. So you will always get your oxygen covered if you're under Medicare. Uh, now, if you use oxygen at night or nocturnally, that means Medicare will provide you a home or stationary concentrator. If you use oxygen 24 hours a day, that means you uh, get a home or stationary uh, concentrator as well as a portable solution. Um, now remember, your portable solution can be a couple of different things. Most commonly, it is just your typical metal, metal oxygen tanks. Every once in a while, a portable oxygen concentrator will be covered under Medicare, but that is not typical. Another topic we covered in our last video is uh, how Medicare works as far as your machines go. So remember, if you get your oxygen therapy covered under Medicare, it's usually covered by a Medicare provider or durable medical equipment company, and they will give you your oxygen solutions via a long-term rental. So remember, you never own your solution, and Medicare will never pay outright for a portable concentrator for you. And lastly, with Medicare, we also talked about the fact that you can pick who your Medicare provider is, and we're going to dive into that subject a little bit deeper today. So the most common issue that we hear with Medicare patients is that they are not happy with their Medicare provider. Um, and this can be because of a couple reasons. The first is that their Medicare provider is giving them oxygen tanks and they prefer something more portable like a portable oxygen concentrator or something that's just battery operated. The second reason that a lot of patients are looking for a different provider is that they are not happy with the service that their Medicare provider has or support. So meaning they're hard to get a hold of or when, they're, when they do talk with them, they're not very polite or not really reaching their needs. And so these are the two most common problems and uh, most common reasons why people are looking to switch Medicare providers. Okay, so before jumping into all of our options, it's really important we understand exactly how Medicare works. So remember that when you get your oxygen provided through Medicare or a Medicare provider, remember you never own it. You are on a long-term rental contract. So a lot of patients don't know that when they sign up with their Medicare provider, they are under contract with them. Um, that means their Medicare provider is required to meet their medical needs and again, always provide them with a stationary solution and a portable one if needed. Um, the way this works is your Medicare provider is giving you, the patient, the oxygen and Medicare, the insurance, is paying your provider to provide you oxygen. So I know that's very complicated, but that's the way that it works, all right? So your provider is getting paid to supply you with the oxygen therapy solutions that you need. Now, a lot of people ask, okay, what do I do if I don't like my provider? Now I'm, I, I learned I'm in this long-term contract, what should I do? Here's the good news, you as the patient can end your contract at any time. So every Medicare provider has a term in their contracts that say you can terminate this contract whenever you'd like, um, which makes it sound like it would be makes it sound like it would be really easy to switch Medicare providers, but it is a little bit more complicated than that. All right, so here's where it can get a little confusing. So when you sign up with a Medicare provider to give you supplemental oxygen, you sign up for a five-year contract. And this, the way that this works is your Medicare provider is getting paid by Medicare to cover your oxygen therapy solution for three years, and then they pay out of pocket to cover the rest of your oxygen solutions for the second two years, and that's a total of a five-year coverage. 
Um, what's really interesting about this is even though you can switch providers at any time, your five-year contract is going to keep going. It does not reset any time you switch a provider. So this is what factors into um, how switching providers does or doesn't work. If I'm an oxygen patient, when I sign up with a provider, let's say two years into the contract, I'm not happy with their service or I'm not happy with their solutions. So I terminate my contract and I decide to find a new provider. I'm already two years into my five-year contract. So I need to find another provider that will pick me up on my third year. That means that oxygen provider is only getting paid for one year of me being on oxygen and they have to pay out of pocket to cover me for the second two years. Um, so even though technically you are able to switch Medicare providers, it actually can be pretty difficult because other Medicare providers are not required to pick you up even if you want to be added on to their coverage. Um, so something interesting to note, and this is what confuses a lot of patients, if you call up Medicare and ask, hey, do you guys cover portable oxygen concentrators? The answer is going to be yes. But remember, it's up to your Medicare provider to give you your oxygen solution. So what you really wanna do is call your oxygen provider and ask them if they cover portable oxygen concentrators. Remember, your oxygen providers are only required to give you a portable solution, and if they give you oxygen tanks, that is their portable solution. Um, another common question we get is we talk to patients that say, you know, I'm not looking to purchase outright because my Medicare provider has put me on a waiting list for a portable concentrator. In our experience, this is not such a great thing. Um, waiting lists usually mean that they're gonna put you on a list to potentially get a portable concentrator later on, but for now they're gonna provide you tanks, and then over time, that portable concentrator never comes through. So if you do get put on a waiting list, chances are you will still be using tanks for quite a while if they are ever able to provide you a portable concentrator. And remember that Medicare providers are not required to give you a portable concentrator. So even if they put you on a waiting list and give you tanks, they've checked the box, they've done their job. So let's talk about your real options if you want a different solution or different Medicare provider. Um, the first thing you need to do is contact your current Medicare provide, provider and tell them what you want. If you have oxygen tanks and you would rather have an oxygen concentrator, let them know. Uh, remember, they are not required to give you a portable concentrator. So if you call them up and say, hey, I want this really lightweight portable concentrator, and they say no, they're perfectly well within their range to do so. So if they tell you no, you certainly can contact other Medicare providers as well to see if they would cover a portable oxygen concentrator for you. Um, but in our experience, chances are of that actually happening are very, very slim. Typically, a different provider will not cover a portable concentrator if you're already on the tanks. Uh, it's a very small chance, but it can happen. So your next option is to wait it out. Wait until the end of your five-year contract when you need to renew, then find a new provider, and again, request right at the beginning that you'd like a portable oxygen concentrator or whichever portable option you prefer. Uh, we've found that sometimes you can get a portable concentrator if you request it right at the beginning of your contract. So our recommended option and the one we have built our business on is for you to find a portable concentrator that fits your medical needs and your lifestyle and purchase it outright. At the Oxygen Concentrator Store, we do not take Medicare, but we do have a wide selection of machines that can meet your medical and lifestyle needs. So the good thing about purchasing your equipment outright is you truly get to pick the company that you work with. Here at American Medical, we are open seven days a week for your convenience. You can call us on a Sunday afternoon and get a hold of someone. We also offer a wide selection of portable machines. So if weight is your biggest concern, let's say you don't like to carry anything heavy over your shoulder, we have an option for that. Or if you're out and about all day painting the town red, outside of the house for 12 hours a day, we have an option for that as well. So we wanna make sure that we find an oxygen solution that not only meets your medical needs, but one that will fit your lifestyle as well. 
If you'd like to give us a call, you can speak with one of our oxygen specialists. Not only do they know a lot about the different products that are out there, but they can also match you with a product that fits your specific lifestyle and will cover the solutions and the struggles that you're going through using oxygen day to day. We only accept payments in cash or credit cards, but we will help you submit your purchase for reimbursement through your supplemental insurance. So supplemental insurance uh, sometimes can give you a small reimbursement for your out-of-pocket payment, uh, but remember that Medicare and Medicaid will never reimburse. Only other supplemental insurance companies will. Okay, so let's recap. Um, it is possible for you to switch Medicare providers, although it isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, it is possible. Um, if you are not happy with your current solution or your current service with your Medicare provider, the first thing you need to do is give them a call and tell them exactly what you're looking for. And then lastly, your best option and what most patients end up doing is purchasing their own equipment outright so they can get something that fits exactly what their lifestyle is like and fits their medical needs. So I hope this helps uh, provide you with a little bit more information about Medicare and how the coverage works if you're looking to make a change. Um, if you do have any more questions, we certainly would love to help you out. You can give us a call at any time and speak with an insurance expert. And remember, we've got another video coming your way on Medicare and then one that we previously talked about, so be sure to check them all out.